Hey, what's up, everybody? Dorn Aldana here coming at you from the Art of Mortgage Marketing podcast. Today, we got something very special for you. I decided to share a recent interview I did where I was being interviewed by the legendary, the one and only Dave Savage, CEO and founder of Mortgage Coach. If you're a US-based mortgage professional, you gotta check this out, mortgagecoach.com. These guys have a wicked effective software that can help you differentiate yourself from all the other mortgage pros out there and articulate what you do in a very unique and powerful way to separate yourself from all the other loan officers when you're speaking with clients as well as with real estate agents. So check it out, mortgagecoach.com. Anyhow, he was asking me, what's the thing we need to be talking about right now? Rates are crazy low. It's like shooting fish in a barrel right now when it comes to historic 11-year lows. So if you're in the U.S., it's crazy. Rates are so low and it's so easy to get these refis if you have a database of past clients and it's so easy to sit on your laurels and just coast and pick up all this refi business and neglect your realtors and neglect the purchase market. I want to say to you, that's the wrong thing to do because if you want to be a top dog, if you want to be dominating your market, you can't afford to be complacent. And this is the time to really take market share in the purchase market. So we're gonna talk about how to 10X your business, how to 10X your closings without cold calling. Check it out. What's up, Mortgage Coach Community? Dave Savage, and I am interviewing Doran Eldana. What's up, Doran? Hey, a whole lot of awesome, brother. Excited to do this with you. Yeah, I'm excited to do it with you also. So I'm a big fan. I follow your group. Uh, Tell everybody a little bit about the Facebook group that you have just for, so that our community knows about your community. Sure. Yeah. Art of mortgage marketing. If you guys uh, haven't joined the group, get in in there, join the party. Uh, We talk about how to get more top producing agents, how to mine the gold from your database, how to do all of that without messing around, doing it the hard way with cold calling and clunky pro magnon caveman style marketing. So yeah, guys, come join the party. This is where it's at. All right. So, so Doran's got a, an active group, a big group. And, and, and I, he's just been a guy I've followed for a long time. And I've interviewed him a few times in our community. He's interviewed me a few times in his community. And, and I, one thing I know for sure, you're always going to bring big energy. And you're always going to bring, you know, legit ideas that are tested and working for some folks. Now, I do want to put a disclosure. I, I got nothing against cold calling and I know loan officers that kill it with cold calling and Mm -hmm. it works and and I you know what I know loan officers in today's world that are killing it without cold calling and it Mm -hmm. works uh and then and then I know loan officers the most loan officers do a little bit of both and and let's face it in today's world it's 2020 you really don't need to cold call anybody because we have social media and we have so many different ways to engage with people so that by Mm -hmm. the time you're calling them you know them they know a little bit about you. And, and it's almost right. like everything is a warm call if you're doing this right. So, so Doran, you said you wanted to tee this conversation up around 10Xing your production, which, dude, that's kind of a big promise, but I'm mm. going to play with it, 10X. And so it's like this conversation is going to be about more leads and it's going to be without cold calling. So why don't you kind of tee that up, start sharing some ideas and, and, and qualify it. Like, what exactly are you going to help loan officers do? Sure. Well, yeah, I agree. It is a big promise. And uh, as Henry Ford once said, whether you believe you can or you can't, you're right. So if you believe that 10Xing your business is impossible, then chances are you're right. But if you believe you're leaving a lot of meat on the bone and you believe you're leaving a lot of uh, juice in the proverbial fruit, and you believe that you could be working smarter as opposed to harder and refining your approach so you can get more done in less time. So you can actually not put in more hours, but get more from the hours you're already putting in by having more leverage. Leverage means instead of trying to pull the nail out of the two by four with your bare hands, you grab this thing called a crowbar and you hook that bad boy up and you just give it a little push and bada bing, bada boom, you've removed that thing with no stress, no blood, no toil, and hardly any effort. That's leverage. And when you enact leverage and you can join that with conviction and commitment and decisive action with a proven plan, it's absolutely miraculous what can happen in terms of your income and being able to have a lifestyle that allows you to live the dream life, not just grinding 
and hustling and being a slave to your business, but having that business liberate you. Most people just basically go through the motions and their business enslaves them. They're, they're working evenings and weekends. They're doing Cro-Magnon Cro man style marketing, uh, like, uh, you know, doing manual human effort to your database or cold calling. And like you said before, you know, cold calling works, but you know, if you throw enough yogurt to the fan, eventually something sticks. So yeah, it works better than waiting for the phone to ring. It works better than just being passive and drifting. At least you're driving and you're doing something proactive, but I kind of like it to, and if you're trying to build the foundation for a skyscraper, you have a couple tools, a couple options available to you. You can grab the gardening trowel and try and big that, dig that big ass hole with a gardening trowel you got to be knowing that's doing it the hard way, right? You can even upgrade that to a shovel. That's still doing it the hard way. People might say, Doran, but the shovel works. You're digging a hole. You're getting, you're getting dirt out of there. Sure, it works, but it's doing it the hard way in comparison to 21st century technology, hydraulic power with the excavator. I don't know about you guys, but I'm not down with doing it the hard way. Once I know there's an excavator, I'm not going to be messing around with the gardening trowel or the shovel. And so that's why I'm a huge proponent of working smarter, not harder, and use the technologies that are available to you. And when you, you know, can join the 21st century technology with an elegant, simple approach that works with proven methods that allow you to use the excavator instead of the gardening trowel, and you can join that with conviction and a captivated, passionate heart towards a dream life that you're committed to creating with daily disciplines and pepping your step and sparkle in your eye on mission, on purpose to make a difference in this world, there ain't nothing stopping you. And tenant exiting your business is a lot easier than just limping along, setting mediocre, reasonable, realistic, lame goals that don't inspire you. Most people, they think too small. The problem is not that they shoot too high and miss is that they shoot too low and hit. So what holds most of us back is not having big, hairy, audacious goals. What holds most of, most of us back is we have lame, lackluster, limp, castrated goals that are lackluster and that are realistic and reasonable. You hear that all the time, right? I wanna be realistic. Well, yeah, what if that's the reason why you keep being stuck in the rut and stuck in the stagnation pattern you've been in because your goals don't inspire you. They don't inspire you to get out of bed in the morning. They don't inspire you to, you know, step up your game. They don't inspire you to step out of your comfort zone. They don't step, inspire you to become the best version of yourself. And you wonder why you're doing the same old thing and getting the same old results. Wonder no longer, my friends. You want to kick ass, take names, chew bubblegum, crush it. You got to have goals that inspire you to, to the best version of yourself, to inspire you to push through the pain, to get to the game, to step into the greatness you're called to. So that's a little premise, a little preface to uh, our conversation today. Well, I like it, dude. You got me all pumped. I, you know, in having your personal why, you know, two things you just said reminded me of a couple recent interviews I did with Jeremy Forcier, and I'm going to share a link to Jeremy's personal why, and guys, it will pump you up. I think it's five minutes. It's also in our IG channel, so if you just want to check it out, don't multitask right now, but Jeremy's personal why, everyone needs to have their personal why, and and, and I think he called it his selfish why, because there were things that we say, oh, I want to do this because I want to help these, but we just got some selfish whys. And, and so, you know, get clear on those. So now let's get into some tactics and strategies that, you know, our community can use to like generate more loans without cold calling. And I got a couple, a couple ideas myself. So uh, you throw a few in and then I'll throw a few in. Sure. So yeah, I agree. You know, every top producer that uh, you roll with, I'm sure has big, hairy, audacious goals that probably at the beginning scared them and excited them at the same time. They got them fired up and motivated. Some may be selfish, like the, you know, the, the sexy whip or the big house or the vacation property or whatever the case may be, but that'll only take us so far. We also got to have a heart connection to purpose to really make a difference in the world when we have the impact goals to make a difference in the world and we have the lifestyle and income goals that's the magical blend when you have all three that's when you really have the rocket fuel in your tank to be able to go out there on the front lines of capitalism and kick ass but we can't be showing up to the gunfight with a butter knife unequipped and ill-equipped that ain't going to go so well so from a tactical standpoint one of the things i see time and time again in this business 
that it just blows my mind that people pony up dough to learn how to do it the hard way like this is they'll go and they'll learn from these coaches and so-called mentors and experts uh, calling the same 40 realtors every freaking Monday with no compelling value proposition, with no meaningful re reason for the conversation. It's just how did your weekend go? How did your open houses go? It's just so lame. And these realtors are intelligent human beings. You got to be knowing they're like, dude, you're asking me the same questions. We're talking about the same shit we talked about last week and the week before that. If you don't have a unique value proposition, if you don't have something compelling to offer, there's a reason why they're not giving you the time of day. So what we do with our system, we've got a system called the Realtor Attraction System. And how it works is you identify the top producers in your market. But Doran, these guys are already busy. They already are married to their mortgage professional. They're already dialed in. They're not going to give me the time of day. Top producers think their poop don't stink. And they think they can walk on water. And, you know, why should I bother going after the top dogs? Because I've tried that before and it never worked. Yeah, what if the reason why it didn't work is because you're doing the same thing everyone else is doing and you're getting the results everyone's getting, which is apathy and arrogance. Arrogance because they're like, dude, I don't have time for you. And apathy, like, this is the same thing that 20 other loan officers called me on on Monday every single week for the last six weeks. And so if you have the me too mentality and the follow the herd mentality, don't be surprised if you follow conventional wisdom, you're going to get conventional results. If you want to have extraordinary results, you can't afford to think like the ordinary. You've got to be zigging while everyone else is zagging. So you've got to think differently if you want to get different results. That's a big idea. How we do it is we don't mess with cold calling because that's using the gardening trowel. Let's upgrade our power with the excavator. And how that works is we, first of all, got to target the right realtors. We're not going to mess with the bottom feeding, whiny, snivelling, complaining, jelly, donut eating, mediocre producers because it's been, it takes the same amount of time, believe it or not, to attract the top dog than it does a low producer who's got no business. And if you're going to spend that time, which is your life energy, your time is your life. It's your life energy. If you think about it, the essence of your life is your time. And if you're wasting your time with the bottom feeders that have nothing to give you, what does that say about how you respect and honor yourself and the gift you have to give to the world. If you're only going to go with the top producers because it's comfortable and convenient and it's safe, well, guess what? As long as you stay inside your comfort zone, you're going to keep getting everything that's in your comfort zone, which is what you have right now. If you want to create 10x results, you've got to say, screw it, let's do it, and pierce through that terror barrier, which is on the outside of your comfort zone, and say, hey, if it is to be, it's up to me. I don't care if it's pain because I know that's where the gain is. All the reward is on, on the other side of risk. There is no reward without risk. So you have to realize that as long as you have a kick-ass value proposition and you believe in yourself and you have the right approach, you can attract the top producers. You gotta start to see yourself as worthy and deserving of working with cool cats who are kicking ass, who love you, adore you, you love and adore them. They're sending you all their business. You're having a ton of fun. You're working with friends. You'd go to the bar and have a bevy with them. You'd have them at, their, at your birthday party. Like people that you want to live life with. People that you have synergy with and chemistry with. People that you would call a true friend. Those are the kind of people you want, want, want to align yourself with. Winners attract winners. Eagles soar with eagles. Water seeks its own level. You want to attract the 10, you got to start to step into the 10 in yourself. You want to attract champions, you got to start to step into the champion within yourself. And champions are not going to eat from the bread of playing it safe because they realize that's death rattle to growth. That's death rattle to expansion. That's death rattle to their dreams. If you want to be a champion, you can't afford to have chump level disciplines and chump level routines and chump level willingness to step out of your comfort zone. You want to start to eat your, you know, being out of your comfort zone like it's freaking breakfast all day, every day. So there's a mindset that comes to this. I can give you tactics, but if you don't have the mindset that aligns with these tactics, you'll never do it. So you have to understand, number one, it's easier to attract a top dog than it is a low producer if you know what you're doing, if you believe in yourself, if you have a unique value proposition. I'm working with my fingers and I'm losing track already. That's my public school math right there. How many fingers have I put up so far? I don't know. I'll let Dave take, take care of that. <laughs> But you've got to believe in yourself. You've got to have a unique value proposition. You need to 
have that dream and that vision in your heart of being thankful in advance for working with rock stars, cool cats that are fun to work with, with great synergy, who love and adore you and you love and adore them. You gotta feel that in your heart in advance. Be thankful in advance for that. Because what that does is it emanates a vibration of attraction. All of a sudden now, you're vibrating on the frequency of victory. You're already starting to have that attractive force that attracts top producers because energetically you're attuned to it, just like a tuning fork. If I smack a tuning fork, it's got a vibrational frequency. If you're vibrating on the frequency of lack, limitation, scarcity, doubt, and fear, what do you think you're gonna attract more of? More of the same. And you're gonna attract people who are on that same frequency, which are the low producers, the whining, sniveling, complaining, jelly donut eating, mediocre producers. They're all on that frequency. You wanna attract those types of people? I don't think so. You wanna attract rock stars who are killing it and crushing it and having a ton of fun. So you've gotta to start to attune yourself to that frequency first. Because it doesn't happen just because you want it. It happens because you're already thankful for it in advance and then you work for it every day. So once you align your mindset and you align your vibrational frequency to having a rock star team that are winners and champions and impact makers in the world who are having fun and who are living in this vibration of success and victory. The next step is you got to send the right message that gets them to say, yeah, I'm interested. So instead of just cold calling, which is picking up the gardening trowel and just grind through a bunch of gold gravel to find a few gold nuggets. And it does work. If you work through a hundred cold calls, eventually you find someone who just happens to be disgruntled with their lender and just so happens to be like, man, okay, I'll give you a shot. Let's meet up. And if you have a winning personality, you'll attract them. But you have to go through so many numbers and you waste so much time and you leave so much juice in the fruit doing it that way. Instead, do what one of my clients just uh, posted on Facebook recently about. She uploaded 20 top producers. She had about 60 people respond. About 40 of them were interested and receptive. She did 20 meetings. She landed 12 top producing VIP partners who are now all in put her on their speed dial. They see her as irreplaceable and indispensable. They made her their exclusive lender. She got 40 referrals. She started from one deal, one deal a month, starting uh, from mid 2019 to December. She was doing one deal a month, 1.3 to be exact. She enrolled in our program. She started using the realtor traction systems. She started applying the rituals to get this victory mentality and vibrating on this frequency of victory. And within two months, she went from one deal a month to in March, she's doing 10 deals. That's the power of aligning yourself with victory in your heart and then working smart instead of just working hard. There's my rant. Cool. <laughs> I, like, I like the rant. So we've got mindset out of the way and I'm going to share an idea and I want to get some ideas from you. I, I do want to challenge everybody though, because and I know everything works if you do it. And what I don't want to do is have loan officers that are hiding like, oh, I'm waiting for warm leads to get on the phone with people. Like, you got to do it all. And if you don't have a marketing system, then you need to cold call. And if you do have warm leads, you need to call them. But at the end of the day, if you're not talking to realtors every single week, I don't care what you have to do and how you have to do it. There are smarter ways there are more efficient ways of doing it. You, you just, you got to do it. So if you're new to this business, you know, the most important thing you can do is make sure that you're winning by noon. I'm a big fan of the win by noon planner. Yeah, Go check huge. it out, win by noon. But huge whether you use that. the win by noon planner or you just like buy the coffee cup or have the sticker, win by noon. And winning by noon means you talk to people. And, and so I want to make sure that takeaway is there. One idea I have, and I, I want to get your ideas, is I was at Jeremy's Forcia site visit last week, and he was going through, he had like 180 leads, and he was like, you know, tracks every one of them. Uh, you know, he was looking at the sources, and he's like, something I've been doing a lot recently is getting referrals from my past customers. Excuse me, not my past customers, my active customers. So I'm going to show the interview on my um, slides right now, and, and guys, you guys, I'm going to put a link to this interview, but here's what he's doing, guys, is he is, first of all, he's got that mindset 
where I'm delivering a great experience at the point of sale. I'm giving them a total cost analysis. They trust me and they like me. I want referrals and I don't want to wait to close the loan to get the referral. So he's got that mindset that I am worthy of a referral right now. And then what he's doing, it's so strategic and you're going to love this is he's waiting until an opportunity in the process comes up where they tell him, thank you. It might be like, Hey, he got him approved. So it might have to wait until the pre-approval. And they're like, thank you, Jeremy, you crushed it. But he's waiting for that interaction in the process, in the current process. And then he's just sending an email. I'm, I'm showing like, this is the actual interview, not the interview, but the conversation. It's five minutes and 25 seconds. And you'll notice what he's doing is he's just sending an email and he just says, we love helping you. Uh, I actually think you put that in the subject line. Can you help me with something? Space. My goal this year is to work with more people like you. Can you introduce me to two people that you can think of in the future, you know, that are looking for my help in the future? And, and he just started doing this more consistently and he had eight leads and he had four loans where they had submitted it. And that was just this month with this strategy. So no cold calling, just getting business from his current database. I'll put a link to this. And what are, what are some other tactics? Like we got the mindset. We, we know we need to nurture realtors. What are some other ways that we can just get leads without cold calling? Yeah. So I'm a huge proponent of the uh, win by noon strategy. Uh, I like to supercharge it and pour gasoline on the fire by adding in some additional kind of uh, elite Navy SEAL type, uh, you know, disciplines that really take it from good to great. Uh, so, you know, exercise in the morning, listen to something inspirational, motivational education while you're working out, while your hands are busy, your mind is free. And ink, uh, input equals output. So the more positive you put in, the more positive you're going to get out. And on top of that, I always like to take cold showers Monday to Friday. I take warm showers on the weekend just so I can remind myself how normal human beings live. But the rest of the week, I rise up like a warrior and take a cold shower because if you want to win, you can't afford to have a wimpy warm shower. You got to electrify yourself, energize yourself with a cold shower. I'm telling you, it'll absolutely blow your mind how much energy you get. If you're thinking, Dorn, where do you get all your energy, dude? I just had a cold shower about half an hour ago and I'm still in the afterglow of my cold shower. It's like, like 10 espresso shots without the diuretic. You don't have to go potty every five minutes with a cold shower, baby. And you got the energy all day. And so it's a great way to condition your mindset that, hey, if I say jump, my inner self says how high. If you can get yourself to take a cold shower, you can get yourself to freaking do anything, whether it be reaching out to realtors, reaching out to clients, plan your work, work your plan, do it when you don't feel like it. And you feel like you can literally walk to a brick wall with that energy. So huge proponent of winning by noon, but also get yourself electrified and energized with those simple disciplines. Exercise, learn while I burn is what I call it. So when you're exercising, listen to something that inspires you, that uplifts you, that educates you. And then I also do a little five minutes of visualization, dreaming, you know, just focusing on my dream life as if I already have it, being thankful for it as if I already have it, affirmations. I do all that. So you got to be known by the time I hit the office, I'm ready to conquer the freaking world. And then that's when you do your high leverage activities, which is there's only really two activities that are the most potently profitable activities as a mortgage professional. Number one is reaching out to top producing agents and booking appointments. That's the most potently profitable activity you can ever be engaged in, point blank, period, bar none. The second one, if you have a database of past clients, is reaching out to clients, creating those connections, cultivating those connections, and getting that repeat and referral business that comes from adding value, having rapport, having a friendship connection with your past clients, and asking for those referrals. Those are the only two things, guys. It's really simple. But we get so distracted. We let distractions and the trivial many distract us from the vital few. We push paper around pretending to be busy, but in actuality, it's just activity. It's not productivity. Don't confuse activity with productivity. They're two totally different things. And when you start to confuse those, that's when you start to slip into stagnation, regression, complacency, neglect. You start going backwards. The key to continual, consistent, and ongoing growth, guys, is having a champion level routine every single day that you stick to like super glue. You do that, you can't fail. You can't help but get champion level results. Most people, you're stepping over dollars to you know, pick up dimes. So instead of 
you know, focusing on getting a stable of six to 12 top producing agents who send you all your business, you're stepping over that dollar and you're chasing after Zillow leads, sifting through a bunch of gravel to pick up a few gold nuggets, wasting your time with a bunch of tire kickers who are getting hammered by five other mortgage companies, wasting your time and money on all this chaff, or you're wasting your time with lower level referral partners before you even mastered the higher level referral partners. Like instead of having a stable of six to 12 top producer realtors, you're messing around with financial planners and accountants and there's nothing wrong with any of those, but they can't even, they don't, they pale in comparison. They can't even hold a candle to the referral producing power of a top producing realtor. You know it and I know it. And yet you step over dollars to pick up dimes because you tell yourself a story like these top producers are a pain in the butt. Uh, they're flaky. They're arrogant. What if the reason why they're showing up like that is because you're doing it the hard way and you're doing it the wrong way? What if the reason why they're projecting that on you is because you're projecting that on them by having a preconceived notion that they're all annoying, they're all arrogant, and they're all a waste of time, and they're all energy vampires. You project what you believe. If you believe they're a pain in the butt, guess what? They're going to be a pain in the butt. Dave Savage's office, how may I help you today? <laughs> we got a reception or the reception is set up for Dave Savage. So, uh, yeah, so that would be the first thing I'd suggest uh, is, is really just make sure that you're focusing on the vital few before you move on to the trivial many. And what I like to do for attracting top producing agents is using multimedia. So we use uh, voicemail, email, and text message. We don't talk about great rates, great service, uh, we don't talk about throw me your crappy leads that no one else can close. We don't talk about how, you know, we're going to be able to deliver better service than anyone else. We talk about how we're going to actually help you close more deals, make more money, and to be able to bring in more referrals in their business. We talk about things they actually care about, which is they want more business. They want more buyers. They want more pre-approvals. They want more sellers. They want to make more money. So we talk about the stuff they actually care about. And you might be thinking, Dorn, I don't do that stuff. I close loans. Well, there's your problem is you're focusing myopically on being a mortgage pro instead of being a marketing partner. See, these realtors don't want a mortgage pro. Everyone in the dog is a mortgage pro. What they want is a marketing partner who closes loans on time, provides com competitive rates, and gives a five-star experience to their clients. That's the minimum expectation on your mortgage pro role. And then on top of that, they want you to help them get more listings, get more buyers, close more deals, get more leads at their open houses, convert more of those leads into hot for what you got buyers, resurrect their dead leads into hot for what you got leads, to be able to make more money from their database, more repeat and referral business, dominate on Google with five-star reviews. Notice how none of that has anything to do with closing loans. So the reason why you guys are missing it with top producing agents and why they're not giving the time of day is because you're not dialed into the frequency they care about. You're talking about blah, 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 blah. Great rates, great service. Who really cares? They hear that every single day. What you've got to do is show up and deliver something no one else is talking about. Actually helping, helping them level up their business, level up their life, make more money, generate more referrals, bring in more business, have less stress and have to put in less time and energy doing all that. If you can show them how to do that and do it in a way that's unique, where you're showing up with a smile on your face and sparkle in your eye and pep in your step, and you've got positive energy that attracts them to want to be around you because when they're around you, they feel uplifted and inspired. I'm telling you, you're going to ace it. You're going to crush it all day, every day. Does that make sense, Dave? So it makes perfect sense. And I, I love where you netted it out. There's only two things that matter, and that is getting meetings and talking to referral partners and talking to engaging and getting loans from your past customer database. You're right. I mean, that is where the money is. You know, now the tactics that we use to do that multi-channel communication with social media, which, you know, you are a master of uh, brute force and just calling. There's a lot of ways of doing this guys, but the takeaways are there. And I love how much emphasis he put on just taking care of your head. You know, meditation, cold shower, getting the right rest, you know, all the things so that you show up and, and you're your best. 
Now, another thing that I heard you, you know, loud and clear as a takeaway is it, it's about going beyond the transaction. You know, at the end of the day, the loan is becoming more and more commoditized. 90, like when I interview top producers, almost 90% of families are filling out their mortgage digitally. Now it's an assisted transaction, you know, human and machine, but they're like putting the information into their device. So the transaction is becoming more and more commoditized. Uh, that means your advice and the things you do outside of the transaction become more and more important. So mm -hmm. another mortgage coach interview that I think is just a much must watch for everybody is the interview I did with Ryan Grant. He does $180 million a year in volume. And he talks about how he was able to get Facebook to make him the preferred lender. And, and when you listen to that interview, it was all about how he went beyond the transaction. It's like, what is he doing in addition to doing loans? Like, and he's doing a total cost analysis and he's using HomeBot. You know, he's, he's using tools, platforms, and his process to deliver more than a transaction. So, so, you know, a couple things. I wanna one, give you another chance to share ideas. Also, I know you have an upcoming event happening and there's other ways that the mortgage coach community can connect with you and keep learning from you. So I'll let you decide. You wanna like share how they can learn more from you or do you wanna share another idea and then get to that? You know, your choice. Yeah, yeah, let's drop some more knowledge bombs, shall we? Bring it. All right. Yeah, so uh, that's one of the reasons why so many people, you said, uh, you know, 30 plus percent of top producers in the US of A in the mortgage space use mortgage coaches because they understand that if they want to be the top dog, they got to be zigging while everyone else is zagging. If they want to be extraordinary, they can't afford to do what the ordinary do. And so mortgage coach is a phenomenal tool to be able to separate yourself from the pack, separate yourself from the average and the ordinary and to stand out. It's just a tool. Obviously, if you got stinking thinking and you're showing up, dragging your butt and you're just showing up, kind of slinking around and feeling like a loser, mortgage coach ain't going to help you. But you do these morning routines, you maximize your mornings, you win by noon and you get that fuel in your rocket and you're showing up like a champion and then you combine that with mortgage coach, you're unfreaking stoppable. You know what I mean? So you got to combine the inner work of stepping into your greatness and stepping into the best version of yourself, combine that with these tools. And that's really the magic, but let's not get things twisted. You know, if you miss the main thing and you start focusing on the minor things, that's when you start to fall into the trap of grinding and white knuckling and just hustle, 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 just hustling alone doesn't work guys. You've got to bring magic into your hustle, which is the twinkle in your eye which is your energy, which is your positivity. And so if you look at how you can bring that with tactical execution that really works, it really comes down to very simple tactics. Like we talked about going above and beyond the call of duty, right? One of the best ways that I've found to really stand out from the pack with your past clients is after closing, send them a gift basket with a big plume of helium balloons attached to the workplace and a little note from you and a bunch of your business cards. You got to be knowing they're going to be talking you up all day long with their colleagues because they're going to be like, dude, what's the deal? Is it your birthday? No, I just did a loan with Mary Sue. Are you kidding me? My mortgage guy never did anything like that. What's Mary Sue's number? You know what I mean? And so those, that big plume of helium balloons is the activator. If you forget that, they can just hide it underneath their desk or in the cubicle and no one knows about it. You put the big plume of balloons, now they gotta be talking about you all day long. So those are the kind of things. Another example is birthday. You know, most people, they'll send a Facebook message or they'll send a text or they'll send an email or they'll send a bomb bomb video that's just canned. And you can tell the moment you see it, it's like they're just swiping and deploying the same canned message to everybody. There's nothing unique about it. There's nothing personalized about it. It doesn't have a personalization that you can tell. They took the time out of their day to do just for you. People are intelligent guys. You've got to do it in a way that they can, they can tell immediately that you took the time out of your busy day to reach out to them personally. There's nothing that compares. So you picking up the phone and calling them. If you don't get them live, leave a voicemail with their name. Hey, Dave. Just wanted to wish you a happy birthday birthday on this marvelous day, the day that you were made. 
I just want to remind you, brother, that you're, you matter. I appreciate you so much. I'm so grateful to have you in my life. I feel so blessed to be able to have the opportunity to serve you as your mortgage professional, but more importantly, to have you in my life as a friend. And I just want to thank you for the light and the love you bring into the world. Thank you for being you. Make it a beautiful day. Celebrate greatly. And I hope you're getting lucky tonight, brother, because today is the day. <laughs> Right? So it's like you bring your own uniqueness and your own personality and your own flair, but you can tell it comes from the heart. You do that kind of, you know, heartfelt message to your clients and you show them you really care and you create a bond of friendship and you use like, it's not canned. It's like, it, this is your energy that you're bringing to them to bless them on their special day. You're not asking for referrals. You're not asking for anything. You're just blessing them on their special day. You've got to be known if you do that. You're one of maybe three in the world who did that on their birthday. Maybe three. Oftentimes, you separate yourself apart from not only all their vendors, not only all the professionals they work with, but also friends and family. Their friends and family aren't even doing this. You've got to be known that's going to have them see you in a new light and stick to you like super glue and send you all their repeat and referral business. Love it, man. So... Love your energy, dude. You, you are definitely a unique dude that walks your talk. You bring a lot of big energy. You bring your authentic self. Uh, appreciate the ideas. So if our community wants to connect with you, know about, more about your community and any events you have coming, how can they you know, follow you or keep in touch with you and learn more? Yes. Yeah, so, so first off, just want to thank you for the opportunity to connect with your peeps, brother. I always uh, you know, have a fun time doing these calls. I appreciate you so much. I respect you so much for what you do in this community. You're an advocate for the community. You help everyone level up and uh, you lead by example. So just thank you for the opportunity, brother. I appreciate you so much. Um, how do people reach out to me? Probably the best way is if you guys have been listening to this, you're like, man, I'm picking up what you're, you're putting down. Uh, I'm, I'm totally understanding now why I've been struggling uh, to the degree I have, because there's a few things you talked about, Doran, that I haven't been doing at the level that I need to. I'm ready to level up. If you're sick and tired of spinning your wheels, sick and tired of struggling, sick and, sick and tired of not fulfilling your full potential, and you're ready to level up and at least increase your income by at least 100K plus per year, if you're on 100% commission, you earn 80 basis points or higher on your uh, compensation plan, and you're wanting to add at least an extra 100K to your income in the next 12 months, and you're sick and tired of doing it the way you've been doing it and getting it the way you've been getting it, I invite you to take advantage of a complimentary breakthrough call where you'd get on the phone with me or one of my consultants. We would lift up the hood on your business. We would look at what's working in your business right now, what's not working, where are you at now in your business, where do you want to be, and if we can help you create a breakthrough in your life, a breakthrough in your business, by all means, we will show you how to do that with a proven plan, working smart instead of just working hard. And if not, frankly, we'll be the first people to advise you to pass on our services. Either way, you'll leave the call with massive clarity. Chances are the most clarity you've had in a very, very long time, if not ever. And chances are we'll have some fun along the way as well. So if that sounds meaningful and worthwhile to you and you'd like to Really find out what it really takes to create a breakthrough in your business, working smart instead of just working hard, showing up to the gunfight with an Uzi instead of a butter knife, and digging that hole that's the foundation for your skyscraper with an excavator instead of a shovel or a garden, gardening trowel, easy for me to say. I invite you to take advantage of this breakthrough call. Go to uh, mortgagemarketingcoach.com forward slash apply. Again, that's mortgagemarketingcoach.com forward slash apply, book the call. We'll get on the phone and we'll show you how to step into your greatness, friends. All right, cool, man. Well, I, I love your group and remind everybody about your Facebook group, just for anyone who wants to follow another group in the mortgage space. Yeah, it's called The Art of Mortgage Marketing. And uh, it's a great place to uh, just come and just mix among other champions who are forging forward, get in the energy orbit of other progressive mortgage professionals, uh, cutting edge marketing technologies, cutting edge marketing approaches, inspiration, motivation, it's all there. The art of mortgage marketing.com. Or rather, uh, yeah. that's the podcast. The art of mortgage marketing is the podcast, but the actual Facebook group, just search for the art of mortgage marketing. You'll see it there. All right, Doran, dude, it was great wrapping with you. Great catching up. Thank you for making time for the mortgage coach community and appreciate you, brother. Hey, likewise, man. Right back at you. 
All right. Take care, brother. Have a good one.